Up and you're welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at something quite interesting. Today we're taking a look at this uh, mech here, which is um, from Iron Man 1. This is the uh, big mech. Uh, this is like Justin Hammer mech. Uh, and here it is. It's a pretty cool mech. We do get a lot of blasters here. We have like a blast punch, uh, an explosive blast punch, uh, a little flying segment and a boom blast um these blasters annoy me um i only build them if they're relevant to the set um or if i thought they were relevant to the set because i thought these were supposed to go in there not gonna lie I like him shooting at them but they don't um so yep that that's them put them away because i'm never gonna use them Oh, we also have a new box here, which has a new tile print for, like, a little scanning keycard. And if you open it up, it's a lot of ammunition that has just fallen out. Um, but the ammunition is for him uh, and his mech, uh, like, just in Hammer's mech. Uh, so that's just an ammunition box. You don't really need that. Uh, moving on to the overall set, um, you can't really rotate the arms much because it is connected to his back by this. Um, so his arm movement is very restricted, um, and it does look quite janky, um, but obviously it's supposed to look like that. We have some knee guards which move up and down, there's a sticker on there, sticker there, sticker there. He even has little toes, I don't get why he needs toes. Um, we have a sticker on his hip. And see if you try and move it a lot, it's very it's very easily broken. Um as you've just seen. Uh so there you go. Uh, how does this even connect back to the thing? Uh, okay. It's very easily broken. Uh I'm not sure if that was supposed to be the thing because the mech's very easily broken in the film, but we have a do we have a night piece where it glows in the dark there. We have a stud shooter where if you twist it, it will fire a stud. Uh, I can't currently do it because his fingers are in the way. He does have massive fingers and massive hands. We have another shooter which if you just push this down, it'll fire the studs in there. Uh, or the tiles in there. We have some stickers here which I thought were bullet holes, but they're not. Um, and yeah, I thought uh, this mech was only supposed to be a little bit bigger than Iron Man. But no, it's significantly bigger than Iron Man. Um, I just think the proportions for this set are hugely out of proportion. Uh, we have a printed uh, helmet piece up here for um, the main thing. It does look like the Iron Man Mark 1. Uh, now if we open it up, we can get a better look at the inside. It can see one minifigure if that red pearl isn't sticking up. Um, we have a nice... Uh, print here for the control panel and there you go that's uh that's what that's all i have to say about this um actually i can show you how um that works this works sorry um all you gotta do is twist it i'm trying not to hit myself and get a clean shot for you all right just snaps off it is connected by this uh plastic tubey thing all right maybe this will be easy where does it twist? Twist. There you go. That's how they work. Um, just twist it. Twist this back thing here, not the front part, because I'm stupid. The front part doesn't twist. It's a little... Well, I don't have a clue where that went. Found it. I don't have a clue where it went. Um, yeah, it's a little grey thing in the middle that twists, not the actual thing itself uh and now time for this one you just gotta push it that was sh terrible can't really show you anticlimactic fires this one is one of the worst stud shooters we've ever had um i think you need to do it with proper force it fires all three at the same time well, if I was one at a time, but push it fast enough, you can fire all three at the same time, pretty much. Uh, as you just witnessed. 
before I got very eyes. I'm not sure if my camera was good enough to even pick it up, so there you go. There's more. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool build. Got a lot of part usage. Um, and it is easily broken, but it's still a cool looking mech nonetheless. Um, I didn't really like Iron Man 1 or 2, whatever this is from. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but I did think it was a good build. I do like the mech builds. Mechs are like my favorite stuff that Lego make. Uh, and if you can't tell, they're probably the, the thing I have most of. That's bullshit. Um, looking at to my left, there is more bikes than anything else. Um, but that is pretty much because bikes are the cheaper sets. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the figures now. Um, this set does include four, three figures. Uh, and obviously we're going to take a look at Pepper Potts first, as she's the main character of this film. She has some plain black legs, some nice torso print, nice back torso print. The head used in that uh, one Infinity War endgame set. Uh, she does have an angry expression and a happy expression. Looks pretty cool. I do like this figure. Um, not, I don't think it's exclusive, uh, but it's definitely an upgrade from the last Pepper Potts we got. Uh, just average Pepper Potts, not like the rescue suit Pepper Potts. Moving on to this guy, who I think is just in Hammer, but I could be wrong. Uh, he's got a nice beard print there. This headpiece is exclusive to this set, I do believe. He has a nice blue suit with a blue uh, overcoat as well as a blue tie. So it's very matchy matchy. He has like this gold chain there. One or a couple of back printings there, a little triangle and a swoop. Uh, no back head printing, but that's because it's bald and you just see two heads all the time and that's just not professional. Um, so he does look quite confident in his own mech. Um, so there you go, he does look quite confident. Uh, some plain blue legs and no arm printing. Moving on to the Iron Man of the set. This is uh, a good Iron Man. Um, same head print as usual, the hood, and then the confident one, but in the hood he looks quite angry. He has a nice torso print, which does follow on to the legs there. No arm printing, but some good leg printing. Some nice back torso printing, and he even has some like little uh, circles at the top of his helmet there, with the white eyes. Um, looks pretty cool. I do like this Iron Man. I'm not a fan of Iron Man, but... This is a cool figure. It is a redo of the really old one, which I do have, which was one of my first Lego like, Marvel sets. Uh, so here he is. Here is Iron Man. Um, looks pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, uh, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day, and goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.